Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we are back today with something that's quite interesting. We've got ourselves yet another Onyx figure, and lately they seem to be pulling out some pretty interesting stuff, as we had recently had the concept art version of the Indoraptor up on the channel. This time, we've got a Triceratops that is very clearly based off of the Ark game. And if you are familiar with Ark, it's got tons and tons and tons of dinosaurs as well as other creatures in it. And uh, it is a game that actually my son is a massive fan of. I have played it, which is pretty shocking because I don't really get to play video games very often. But I did play it a few times with my son and... I greatly enjoyed walking around with my Carnotaurus in that game, but uh, this is the version of the Triceratops apparently from that game. Now, I don't know too much about the Triceratops, but I do know enough to uh, at least have the basic design down as far as what the dinosaur looks like, and I think Onyx actually captured it pretty nicely, and I really wish they would continue to do things like this because... You know, rather than just like bootlegging random companies figures, I feel like Onyx could produce some really cool stuff if they would stick to these original figures and continue to create stuff like this that nobody else is creating because it's the only place that I know of that you can even get a Triceratops that is based on that uh, design so far. So again, definitely a cool looking figure if you ask me. So let's go ahead and jump straight to a closer look and we'll check it out from there. So starting up here at the head sculpt of the Triceratops, you can see it does actually sport some pretty nice looking skin texture. You have some pretty decent looking scale detail here throughout the face as well as some nice looking paintwork. We can see the nostrils are sculpted out and they are actually highlighted with a darker tone. The eye paint is pretty sloppy. This is one area where I think Onyx really needs to improve because their eye paint is almost always very sloppy. And you can see the same case here. It's not that bad. You know, it seems to be contained for the most part to the eye area itself, like it's not leaking down or anything, but they've just applied too much. As you can see that the color of the eye is running down there onto the uh, skin there for the eye socket area and everything. It just could look a lot better if they would just give it a little less paint in the eyes of the figures but you can see so we have like a red orange tone for the eye as well as a black and then a white spot to kind of give it that eye shine we've got quite a bit of variation of color here to the face as well you can see some variations of browns lighter browns here darker browns running along the outer edge of the frill as well as darker browns for the lower jaw you can see some black there around the eye you've also got some uh, light grays up here I would say it's definitely a light gray running along the upper part of the head of the triceratops and you can see that up here on the top a little more of that black kind of splattered right there you've also got a white for the beak and then you can see that we've got a really nice realistic tone of color for the inside of the mouth as well nice uh, tongue sculpted in there not a whole lot when it comes to fine detail, but it looks okay. You can see the horns for the Triceratops are also painted with that light gray, but they also have the brown kind of mixed in. You can see how it kind of just transitions around to those different colorations on the horns. And the horns actually sport some nice looking fine detail. You can see some cracks and crevices included in there, especially here on the nasal horn. I think that all looks really quite nice overall. The spikes here running along the course of the dinosaur as well seem to be painted with that same similar tone of that light grayish tone. And uh, again, actually kind of similar in fashion. As you move up here, you'll see where we have the browns creeping through with the light grays applied as well, which again, I think is pretty decent. Gives it a little extra variation of color, but the actual uh, detailing of the spikes looks really good. You can see, again, tons of cracks and crevices as you move through the course of the figure. You can also see that the frill is sculpted pretty decently. We've actually got some really nice fine detail up here, and you can see that there is like an orangish tone that's been kind of dry brushed over quite a few different areas up here on the frill. Again, it's not the most spectacular paintwork in the world, and it's a little sloppy as far as the way it's applied, but it doesn't look bad and does definitely give it a little variation of color and uh, you can see more of the darker browns running along the outer edge of the frill I feel like you know if you repainted this it could turn out really impressive because the actual sculpt is quite well done and overall has a very nice vibrant fairly high quality look and feel it also feels like a solid figure it doesn't feel like anything that would be hollow inside eh. Maybe. I mean, it's definitely got some pretty decent weight to it for its size. You know, it's not a huge figure, 
but it's hard to tell for sure if it is solid. It does feel solid to me though. But as you lead down here into the neck, you can see we have more of that light gray. You can also see the throat sculpted here on the underside of the figure. As you move back here into the body, this is the one area I'm a little confused by. And again, it may be something that's in the games and I don't know, or uh, I'm not too sure what is going on here. But it has like, at first I thought maybe it's a skin wrinkle here moving along because this kind of looks like some skin wrinkles, but it runs over the thigh and out here into the tail. It almost more so reminds me of like vines moving along the course of the figure. I don't really know what that is. It is painted out with a dark variation of a blue, so there was obviously a reason they wanted to highlight that, but again, if you guys have any idea what that is, definitely let me know in the comment section because I'm pretty unsure of it. But as you move down into the leg, you can see the detailing actually looks really good, especially right there in the joint of the elbow. You can see that that skin folding right there looks really nice. There is a bit of variation of color as you move down. Again, we have like the orangish tones, like the red oranges up here. But as you move down into the legs, you can see that we've got a different variation of a brown. You also have a darker tone that seems to have been airbrushed over the feet. No real nail paint. Seems like maybe that airbrushing was supposed to take care of it. It, but it's not perfect you can see that over on the other leg there it's a little bit as far as uh, missing its place but it looks okay they definitely could have put forth a little more effort into that area sculpt wise I think it looks really nice the paint's just not that great moving up into the stomach again you've got really nice skin wrinkles you can also see that you've got some darker tones showing up here the figure as a whole seems to have a dark wash applied to it as well which you can definitely see here on the underside they've painted the undersides of the feet as well with a nice airbrushing of a black as you move up here into the back again the scale detail does look really cool very uh, rough and rugged looking i would say and uh, one thing that's pretty interesting is they've actually painted out some of those kind of quill like feathers you do see on the arc version of the triceratops they are sculpted out and painted out up here on the top again painted with that orangish tone but it's pretty cool just to see that they actually did add those as well as you move down into the rear leg you can see that it looks pretty good i don't really see a whole lot as far as muscle definition but you can kind of make it out as you continue to move down again we transition back to the brown and then we lead down into the feet which again have that airbrushing of the black the toes are nicely sculpted the nails as well are actually quite nicely sculpted and then as we lead up here here again a few creases right there behind the thigh and then we lead out through the course of the tail the tail has some decent length to it not you know obviously too long it looks pretty good I think as far as the length that we see on this design and you can also see again a little bit of a curve to the tail as you lead out and the detailing on the underside continues to look really quite nice with that dark wash highlighting all of it if you look here on the opposing side you're really not going to see much when it comes to a difference because the dinosaur is in almost a neutral position it obviously has its mouth open as it's letting out some form of a vocalization yeah, I don't see much when it comes to a tilt or a turn in the head or neck or anything like that. The legs are almost in the same position. Maybe the front leg might be slightly more forward on this side, and the rear leg is slightly back compared to the opposing side, but not enough that it's really going to cause any sort of a different visual on this side. I will say that I think the paintwork of this, you can actually see they've given the back of the frill that light gray as well but i think the paintwork of this figure for what it is is pretty well done again there's not perfection applied here but it's fairly decent overall and again when it comes to an arc triceratops that's actually pretty cool as far as a size goes for a length from the beak to the tail i would say right around eight and a quarter inches or around 21 centimeters and then for a height to the uh, spikes here on the back of the frill a little over three and a quarter inches or just about eight and a half centimeters for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus robert muldoon and the collect a human being next to our triceratops which you can see it is fairly small overall it's not a whole lot bigger than an attack pack figure which you can see there next to the Colovasaurus. And since there aren't really any other ARC figures out that I personally know of, we're just going to compare a few random Ceratopsians. Here we have the How Long Good Nasuto Ceratops next to our Triceratops. And you can see that they uh, are kind of similarly sized, with the Triceratops being only a little bit larger. We've also got the recently released Ineasaurus from Papo next to the Triceratops, also a little bit smaller. 
Then we've got the Mojo Fun Triceratops, which you can see also is a little bit smaller than our Onyx version. As well as the Schleich Diabloceratops, which again is a little bit smaller, but fairly close in size. And then one final comparison, we have the Papo version of the Triceratops next to our Onyx version, which you can see the Papo version is definitely a good bit larger. So this brand new ARC version of the Triceratops from Onyx is pretty fun, especially if you are a fan of the games. I think you'll really get a kick out of this figure. If you are a fan of just your more traditional dinosaur, you know, more of like an accurate version, you're probably not going to be a big fan of this one because it's clearly not an accurate Triceratops by any means. But if you are into just stylized versions, you may find this one pretty fun as well. And again, I think that just like with the uh, concept art Indoraptor that Onyx had released, I feel like they did a pretty decent job on capturing the design and likeness of this figure outside of those random things on the side that kind of look like vines. I still don't know what those are, but I feel like, you know, overall the sculpt does look pretty decent. It definitely has the same resemblance to the Ark version of the Triceratops, especially when it comes to the way that the spikes look on the back of the frill, which I would say is probably one of the most defining features of that Triceratops but even down to capturing those quill-like feathers running along the back, which I feel like was definitely a nice touch. And figures like this really show you the potential that Onyx has. Again, they don't need to continue to bootleg companies' figures. They can produce their own unique and original figures, and I always feel like it's just so much nicer and so much more impressive when they do. Not every figure they release is a home run. I actually have a few figures here that I just have not reviewed yet, and I one day will, but I haven't quite yet that are from Onyx that I, you know, purchased, and uh, they're just not really that great in person. But this one, I think, is pretty good. You know, overall, they've done a great job of sculpting out the fine detail. It looks really good and crisp on the figure. The paintwork is okay. It's pretty good, I'll say that. It's not the greatest. It's a little sloppy. Like, the coloration up in the frill, I feel like, is definitely a little sloppy. Could have been done a little bit better. The eye paint is a little sloppy, and I'm not a huge fan of the way that they've just kind of airbrushed over the feet. I feel like that could have looked a little better, especially if they had taken the time out to actually just paint the nails. But, that said, they've done a good job of adding in various tones of color to the figure. Like, even though it's a little sloppy, it's not really that lazy. Like, they didn't just say, oh, give it a few basic tones and move on. You know, they've given it some washes. They've also highlighted the detail with some dry brushing techniques and stuff like that. So, they did put a little bit of effort into the figure. But, at the same time, it is still a little sloppy. But overall, it is definitely a fun figure, a fun release from Onyx, and something that I could see many people being interested in adding to their collection. And there are actually two different paint variants of this. This is only one of two. I chose not to get both, even though I usually do, just because the other one's not really my cup of tea, I would say. It's like a greenish version, and I don't think it looks at, you know even half as nice as this one. But I will include a link in the description to where you can purchase this for yourself from AliExpress, because that is where I purchased mine, so make sure you check that link, go grab this very interesting figure, and also like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.